Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Getting Outdoors. And today we're going to show you uh, what it takes to make a Ruth Stout garden. So this is our garden that um, I've expanded over several times, but have never done a video of exactly what we do every time we expand it. Well, I'm expanding it one more time over here. And let me kind of show you what we've done. Uh, right there is just a compost pile that I've had uh, there uh, over the, the fall. Uh, today is April the 2nd of 2021. And so we're getting everything uh, started now for our spring and summer garden. So the first thing that uh, I've done, um, and I'll show you over here, uh, because this is this was some compost um, and, and it was actually a bigger pile that I've kind of spread out. We'll spread that out a little bit more. But let me show you kind of what we did over here was put down cardboard um, for a couple months to start getting this grass underneath to get it to die out. And you see that uh, down in there, it's definitely, definitely dead. And now we'll have that uh, go in and it'll start rotting out once we put the soil on top of. I've got our uh, leaves in our bags here and I've already dumped out just kind of show you what uh, this will do here and basically we're going to throw out uh, the dirt the soil on top of that uh, one is that way it won't take as much soil uh, to fill up uh, this area but also that will be good in when it starts decompose, decomposing and then it will give us some extra nitrogen so as you see we've got a pretty big area here that is probably um i don't know 20 by 25 uh, in here and i have just ordered 14 yards of garden soil mix here and uh, later on we're going to be getting the tractor out and uh, coming up and putting that garden soil in here and that is uh, ready to plant garden soil so uh, it actually has all the nutrients and everything that we need that uh, we can start with. So that is essentially how we're going to start this out. So we'll show you uh, as things progress how it looks. All right, well, now we have the leaves all scattered down. We're moving the dirt into here. I got a, a garden soil that uh, is... Uh, Bunch of different um, compost and soil and mixture and actually is already um, it's got a good pH neutral uh, balance I'll even mix in some of the compost here so you can see we're scooping it from the back where it got dumped up over here over the fence and then the secret part to the roost out garden is you see I have hay old hay that's been sitting uh, back there for about a year and that's what we're going to use as our uh, deep mulch so we'll keep on checking in on our progress well part of the Ruth Stout garden the key is old hay uh, that can break down into your deep mulch uh, but <clears throat> yeah a lot of people ask where can you uh, get this hay well Sometimes you gotta find you some resources. And a friend of mine, uh, he has goats uh, out here and pigs, but uh, most just a couple pawbelly pigs, but mostly all goats. And as they winter, uh, he needs that hay for them. As you can see here, they go in there and rest in the hay and they poop in the hay. Well, he's gotta mix that out. And then he comes and makes a couple piles here. There's a pile back in there and so I come out and I get that and that's what I lay on top so not only uh, is it going to um, compost into the garden just the hay but also the uh, manure uh, that's going to help out so that's part of the deep mulch system that I have all right we've got 14 yards of garden soil all spread out ready to be planted got back from 
to that friend's house that uh, gave us all of the goat hay um, to the back of the truck and in the trailer. Uh, so we'll dump that next and then we'll get to planting. I've got all kinds of plants uh, there. So what we'll do is uh, after we get the mulch down, I'll show you that process there and how uh, deep that we go uh, with the mulch and then get the planting. All right, and this is the finished product. Uh, sorry I didn't get some other uh, along the way video here before putting the hay and it all on. Uh, just got in the projects and uh, hot and wanted to get everything uh, done. And this is now about a week later where I've actually planted. So let me kind of show you uh, that, that step, you know, we put in uh, all of the new soil in here again here's where uh, the existing garden was at and now we've extended it over to here uh, like I said it was 14 uh, tons of new garden soil in here uh, and then we uh, added our hay um, and the hay that I have is actually probably the most beneficial it was uh, from a friend of mine that raises goats and so it's got the goat manure uh, right in there. Well, let me show you how uh, we plant inside of this. Um, if you just come in and you can see we've got some things that are planted, but let's just say I want to go ahead and plant something right in here. All that I would need to do is come back, pull this back a little bit, right? And you see how much hay is there. That's about six inches uh, of hay um yeah, about four to six inches there so now i've got exposed ground you can see that you know it's already just from um, a little bit of uh, rain that we've had this last week and stuff this is nice and wet and already starting to decompose uh, in there and then i'll just come in and right here plant a transplant now if i wanted to do a seed then i can just rake all this back and i can actually sit here and do an entire row and you can get a hoe or a rake or anything and just get it back and now as you can see i've got a straight you know line maybe put up a twine or something uh, in here but uh, very easy to to do then once you get your either transplants or seeds established then all you have to do is come and put your uh, hay right around it to now get the moisture and get the uh, weeds uh, under control so you see this is here is a zucchini plant that is in here and let me just go ahead and pull this back and you see I just planted it right in there and then now I've just gone in right around there whoops and now that it is nice and secure and we'll get uh, all the moisture and keep the weeds down uh, as possible. Um, I've already got the, uh, this past weekend, I put in the sprinklers, uh, two, two of them here, uh, 15 foot heads, uh, which should cover all this. So that's a Ruth Stout garden, how uh, to get it started. And then all I need to do to maintain it, let me show you, is that, remember, um, this doesn't mean that's going to be weed free. It's going to mean that you have less weeds. So you're not spending hours at a time. You're spending just a few minutes of time. So let me show you how easy it is to keep this uh, manicured. So you look. It pulls right up because mostly those uh, weeds are right there actually in the straw or hay. And you can just turn that upside down. And it'll die off you know and you just kind of can come in here do the same thing you know over and over Ruth Stout just said she would turn it and like that now if you want to get it all the way out of your garden you can do that um, the other way is if you have uh, some weeds coming up right there look I, I always keep a pile you know right here um, in the garden and then I can just sit here and cover that up and I kind of go in and I kind of mash it mash it down 
and then now uh, without sunlight those weeds are going to die uh, right right un underneath that so I always keep a pile of you know um, some straw or hay right by there uh, as you see I've got um, some more bells of hay got the round bells and then I've got another trailer load oh, Mr. Cowhead in the way I got another uh, trailer load of the goat hay uh, there too so i uh, hope you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next episode